got back from class and uh, it's like 9.23 and I'm gonna be using like ChatGPT to figure out what I'm gonna be doing throughout the day and I'm sure many of you have heard of what ChatGPT is and how it can help people with like I guess cheating or like doing homework but um, I'm gonna use it to see if it can help me not be a lazy bum for the rest of the day I'm gonna ask it um, to give me a schedule so, I have a class at 11 a.m. to 50 p.m. to day. All right, let's see. All right, so I already know this is not gonna work because <laughs> I'm not gonna go exercise and take a walk at 10 to 11. So I'm gonna generate another response. Okay. All right. So 9:30 to 10:30 it wants me to review notes for an hour. A lot of this stuff I don't usually do. I don't usually review my material. I don't have Greek yogurt. I could do that, baby. All right, let's go do that after my notes. All right, I don't really come back from class and be like, let me do some notes. Honestly, it was not bad. It's now basically 10.30. According to my schedule, take a break, stretch. All right, I got the stretch from Money Sign Eric. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn it. And then have a snack. Uh, I'm gonna have my breakfast. I'm probably just gonna either eat cereal or <laughs> All right, I'm back from that class. It was hella boring. It was like every other film class. I walk in the theater, same spot, watch a movie, fall asleep. But yeah, now ChatGPT wants me to, what is it? Complete any outstanding tasks or assignments. So I do have readings for another class that I'm gonna use ChatGPT to speed up the process. All right, so I have an article that I need to read for my film class. Summarize. Let's try copy and pasting the link. Nice. <laughs> Alright, cool. I basically know what this article is talking about, but I know like some teachers are like, how do you know this? And you need to provide a quote, so I'm sure it can do that too. Most of the quotes are like pretty connected to what it says here. This is definitely successful reading, very um, engaging for me. And then at 5-2, it says I need to prepare for next day's classes, and it sets out a whole hour for that, and I don't have classes tomorrow, so ChatGPT says I have one hour for dinner, which I don't know how that's reasonable, but let's see if ChatGPT knows what I should make with what I have. Skin on bone and bone on chicken thighs. Um, I have salami. I have bread. Broccoli. Broccoli. I have cabbage. Sausage. Let's see. 
I basically made this yesterday. Let's change it. Okay, that's not bad. Um, put the broccoli and cabbage. I forgot. All right, so the first step, preheat the oven to 375. That seems kind of low. <laughs> Cut the broccoli and cabbage into bite-sized pieces and place them in a baking dish. Pretty good sized chunks. Dice the garlic and shallots, add them to the baking dish with broccoli and cabbage. Slice the salami. Oh my God, dude, this is fucking gross. <laughs> Mixture. I should probably boil this too. But it doesn't tell me to boil it, so I'm not going to. Now I need to season the chicken thighs with salt and pepper and place them on the top. Nowhere in this recipe does it ask for oil. So that scares me. Wow. wow. Now we have chicken on top. I don't know if I can stand this not having any oil. Secretly asked. This is like against the rules. Do I have any seasoning? And I'll make sure to show you guys the beautiful concoction that's in the oven in 25 minutes. Ooh! Lands, dude. It doesn't look good, okay? It looks cooked. Looks seasoned. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why yeah. there's lettuce. Is there cabbage in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the recipe. Oh, okay. That's bland as fuck. 25 bucks. All right. We'll wait for the rice to cook. You get like the original. And then I'm gonna make a whole plate. I'm gonna bite into the chicken. It's gonna be raw. And I'm gonna eat something else probably. <laughs> All right, it's been a few days um, after like I recorded the rest of the video, but I've been using ChatGPT a little bit more, except for like making a schedule for me. But so far, it's been like pretty helpful. Like I have especially for being a film major. I have like a lot of readings to do. I have a lot of movies to watch, which boohoo. I have a lot of movies to watch, but ChatGPT helps me with like reading these articles a lot faster. And it also gives me great summaries on these long movies that I need to watch. So for that, it's really, really helpful. But for other things, like you obviously have to be a little bit precautious of what you listen to from ChatGPT. After all, it's not like human, it doesn't consider everything that it needs to consider. For example, um, in that schedule that I had, it didn't section out time for me to eat lunch. So I actually did not eat lunch that day. So that was a little bit tragic. Obviously, sometimes the food that it gives you is kind of trash. ChatGPT is nice, it is helpful, but be a little bit careful using it. <laughs>